Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to find a registered product in a crop in the new version of Homologa. In this example for Europe, I will show you how to extract the list of registered products in pairs containing the active ingredient Captan. Once you're logged in and see this page, we will start by going into the vertical side menu. If you do not remember the login process, please watch our tutorial on how to get started with Homologa. Then we drag the mouse over product registrations to show the sub-menu and select brand level with crops. Now we have our selection window to define the selections for our query. We will first start by selecting the region Europe. For the selection of crops, you have the option to select a crop group first or to directly select an individual crop. For the crop groups, Homologa offers as default the European crop groupings but can also provide the crop groupings of the United States, Japan and Codex. For our example, we can directly go to the crop field and select the pairs. As our example is to find the products containing Captan, we will type Captan in the active ingredient field. Then we can proceed and click on the submit query button. The extracted report is shown below. I will show you a few details about information you can find in this report. In this report we can see that some of the rows are in grey and some are in black. The grey means that these products are expired and the black means that they're registered. There are three different statuses in Homologa. Registered, expired and use expired. Registered means that the product is officially registered. Expired means that the official expiry date given by the ministry is exceeded and use expired means that the last use date of the product is exceeded. If you wish to see only the registered products, click on the column headline Status Crop Site and select only the registered products. In the Crop Details button you can find more detail about the use of this product in pairs. When you click on it, you see that it gives you some of the same information, but also more specific information. For example, it gives you the stages, the pests, the dose rate, the pre-harvest intervals, and more. Under the phrases button, you can find information about risk phrases and the hazard symbols for each product. If we now go back and look further into the report, we can see that we also have Label Ministry and Label Manufacturer links. These links give you the direct access to the labels when possible. There are two types of labels. One is kept by the Ministry and one by the Manufacturer. Unfortunately, the access to the labels isn't possible in all countries. In the countries where it is not possible, Agrobase tries to give the address of the ministry website and the address of the manufacturer's website. This gives the user the opportunity to try to find the label information himself. More details on report manipulation and filters will be shown to you in another video tutorial. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.